In this video, you'll see how to use the Elms Places feature. First, you have to turn it on. You're going to go to Version Settings, and then Manage ID Toolkit. From here, you'll see Elms Places. It's already been enabled in this instance. So first, you'll see there's a link that's added in your, under Course Resources called Places. Now, I've added a place, so we'll see what happens there. You'll see this has Google Maps integration, and it shows a marker for the place that I added. So if I click the marker, we'll see that the place I added is displayed on Unit 1 and has just the, the dummy information I put in. So I can actually use this to jump through and see the content that I placed this on. So I said that Tempest is a place. And now if I click Tempest, it'll slide out the map tab to Places, and it has that little location that I marked. So let's go and mark another location in a different page. So we'll go to next page. The way to mark a location is click and drag on the content. Then enhance content comes up. You can click on the little compass rose for reference a place. This will take you to a new entry form that has the title of the text that you selected, the page it was on for content reference, location, which you open up, and then click on the map to drop down a little pinpoint and then body, which is the text associated to it. Scroll down and hit save. And now it will take us back to the page we were working on with the text highlighted, and you'll see the Places tab now shows up. Clicking on this text will open up the place, and I can scroll over and see the text that I added in there. Going to Places now, I can see all the map locations that have been put down for this course. Another thing you can do is you can actually go and see all the places that you have across your courses, but as we're only working on one course at this time, there's really no need to go there. 